All right, so let's discuss what's in this bundle. Again, my stylist is Taylor. I've recorded a little bit of uh, ahead about the meat and the bones and the logistics of the company. And I'm gonna put that at the end of the video. So that way, a good bit of the hardcore information that you wanna know, the excellent customer service that I go into a story and I tell you guys about, um, you can hear all of that at the end so that we can get into what is in here. Now I did say in that part that what is in this bundle is a complete surprise to me. Um, there isn't like a preview window. It's probably a method where I could have clicked to like I'm checking out and then peeked and seen. I really wanted to leave this as a surprise because I had already peeked a little bit on my Stitch Fix and I already peeked a little bit on my Fat for Fun, which videos are coming up. And I wanted to leave this one completely unknown to me. So let's... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Taylor, what did you... Okay, someone don't know how to act. Let's let me behave. Let me see what did she do? And this paper is so festive, isn't it? It's seasonally appropriate. Like spring is here. Now I did tell um, Taylor, you know, hey, I'm in Florida. It's hot consistently. We do get coolness or rain, and I'm finna share my weather with you a little bit. It rains when it feels like it. We call Florida so it's schizophrenic and it's random and yeah. And um, you get the cold from people's homes or the stores because they're trying to keep the area cool with artificial coolness, which is air conditioning. So sometimes car lightweight cardigans are welcomed by me, but I don't want my whole lot to consist of winter because there's no winter here. There's no snow. There's no 35 degrees. There's nothing. Ever. My rent. Look. Let's see. Oh, I see one of my. I see polka dots. I said I love polka dots. I love yellows and mints and pinks and green. I see a green. I see another a hue of green here. Let's see, girls and boys. What? Well, we have some geometric type type of pattern. And I see some jeans. All right. So first thing here, oh, I can tell you right now, the, the material on this is soft. It has, a, what is these called? Pebble, I want to say. Um, tops. I love the little, um, it just adds a little bit of glowiness to it. I love this uh, upper neck. I don't have a lot of neck here, as you guys can see. Let's, boy, let's emphasize on that. But I actually like turtlenecks and stuff. It seems to me to elongate the neck. So I have no problems with things going around the neck. So this is cute. Ooh, I'm so excited. Can you tell? All right, look at this. Go Taylor, it's your birthday. Go Taylor, it's your birthday. It does have a slit um, and it has like a high low. And I love that it can tie at the neck. Y'all, isn't this a gorgeous little blouse? And I did say that I like um, keyhole, you know, kind of peekaboo openings. It doesn't matter to me if it's front or back. Most of the time it's in the back, but yeah. And this is $39. And this is by Gilly. Someone is not telling y'all the press. <laughs> And the price. So let's go back to the, the polka dot really fast and let me tell you. It is 35. And look, hand wash line dry. That's really cool. That's really cool to put the clothing on um, detail. This is a green. This is 38. And this is by Lush. Not Lush the Soap Company, but Lush someone else. Oh, and this is so, this is light. And this is, okay. Okay, let me calm down. The first thing came to my mind was if I go on that boat, excursion trip favor is um, advertising. But this definitely is like travel friendly because it will fold down. You got a little bit of, you know, pizzazz here with the tie to the side. 
Um, I already have a belly, so what the hell? I don't, yeah. <laughs> I think it would camouflage a little tummy. That's just my opinion for those of us who are not flat. But you're just not flat. So yeah, I need to help. Help me. <laughs> so look at this. Look at this. This is also a darling little dress. I, and this is 40. I tell y'all what the other dress was. Don't, don't spank me. Let me see here. This one's 38. I'm blushing. These prices is just, yes. It's just like, would you like another one? Oh, do, please do. Okay, so this is 40, and this is so cute. And you know, this is my birthday month. This is one of the reasons why. I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna get back in clothing subscriptions, I need to do it in April, because I got it in my ass, so. <laughs> But this is cute. All right, and I love that you could just roll it up, pack and go. And I did say that, I wanted easy breezy, effortless pieces that it looks as though you put a lot of work into what um, you're wearing and you care about your appearance. But I, I don't always want to deliberate over what I'm gonna put on. It takes the fun out of getting dressed up and it drags out the night or the evening to whatever event or function that you're getting ready to attend. I don't need the added stress. Ooh, what, is, what do we have here? Ah, shall I? And I just wanna say, um, as I'm recording this video, Taylor just emailed me about 30 minutes ago and it's April the 3rd at 5.09. So she just emailed me around four something to see had I went through the contents, what did I think of the box, give her, share my feedback, my thoughts and opinion. But on to this dress here. This is cute. And I love this material. This material seems to do well with my body. I'm full figured. Even when I'm down at my preferred weight of a size 11, 12, which I'm not right now. I'm more of a nice 14. Um, these materials, and I can't hardly describe it to you. Let me see if it's in a tag. No, this is another Gilly. And the Gilly is made in the good old USA, folks. This is 40. But um, it, this is something that don't require ironing or steaming. You can put it on, grab and go. But again, that foldability, that travel easy, this one won't wrinkle on you like one of the other dresses I showed you. This material don't. I wish I knew what it was. I'm gonna try to find out for you guys. And then the last thing here is a 14 mid-rise skinny. Now I, I kind of would have preferred a high rise and I'm finding I'm barely 5'3". I'm on the lower end of it. Um, that high rise is with me having a stomach, um, with me being forward figured, High rises just seem to rock, and I never thought, never knew that. So let's get into, I'm gonna attempt to do a try on. We, um, this is a UPS return. Now I'm looking at this and it's saying celebrity pink jean, skinny uh, mid rise. So yeah, this is, that's the brand. So I have celebrity pink. 14s. I want to hold on to these. And I didn't share with you guys um, that there is detail on the side. So there's a break in the denim color. Um, so it's like a medium wash and then a darker wash. And then I didn't show you the um, kind of unfinished hem with that. Um, let me see. It's a little bit of a high low. See that? So like at the back of the heel, it's just a little bit longer than the front. These fit perfect. Um, it fit my height. It wasn't dragging on the ground. They stopped right at the right lower end of the ankle. So these are definitely keepers. I like these a lot. And I like the this band area was a bit wide. So even though they were a medium, a mid-rise, uh, in height, the band gave it a little bit of width, and I think that that also contributed to the fit being nice for me right now. 
So um, I've also took a pause in the video and I've emailed um, Taylor to see if the polka dot and the mustard of mustard shirt was just too tight and so I didn't feel comfortable presenting that on camera or forcing it any further. It needs to be an extra large for sure. All right, um, this, I, I'm gonna keep this. Um, and I have inserted a photo. I didn't like the full 360. Bear with me guys, I'm not there yet with feeling completely comfortable, but I did put in a um, photo to show you what I looks like in the lush um, dress. And I, I think it's great, I think it's travel friendly. And I really feel just putting it on right now and I have almost 40 a good 30 pounds to go um I like the way it looked enough to know it's gonna look beautiful um at just even 10 more pounds this is gonna look even nicer because it's laying pretty decent um I just didn't like the back part um, and so I definitely want to work on that some more, but this is a keeper. This dress here, um, I think I'm going to hold on to this one as well. Um, there's something about it. It, it just seems appropriate for church. It, is, it, it looks nice for um, a convention or something like that. Um, a student's award speech with a nice blazer. I could get away with it now. And again, I would definitely look much better 10 pounds lighter. And this is a large. So it's giving me hope. So even though I don't, I'm not a big fan of like, oh yeah, I'm just really, um, I know, I know um, it's going to look even nicer. So I'm going to hold on to that one. This one, I think I'm a pass on, even though I like the upper part and I like the bottom. I'm not gonna keep this one, but I do like it, to be truthful. And I like the little strip that goes through the back. Um, I may change my mind at night, but this is a maybe to a no. Yeah, this is a maybe to a no. I feel like I can find that at Ross. These. Um, these are so cute and if this could just come in an extra large this is a large I was able to put it on but it was tight it was tight and unappealing as far as how uh, how much of the friends were showing you know no one else wants to see the extra girls so I'm hoping um, she can get this and I can exchange and that would be awesome because these two tops are my style man these are my style um, yeah, I almost hate, you know, but you can't, you know, I had a surgery and antibiotics a lot and just got down and started eating and didn't give two farts and it just, it went downhill. And so I'm trying to make an effort to save myself and, um, I've lost two or three inches around the waist, believe me. <laughs> I've been measuring and um, I've lost an inch and a half in both arms and things like that. So it's coming off. It's just you can't do, you know, your body can't be, go through trauma of being mistreated and be in a healing process for six to eight months and then you think because you're dedicated for a month and a half that you're going to undo that amount of time uh, worth of damage. So I'm trying to be realistic and fair. I don't want to buy pieces that... I'm not gonna wear four or five months from now, and I don't wanna buy pieces that I don't think, even at you know May the 5th, that I'm not gonna be able to wear. So I have to be very careful about what I keep and what I don't keep, but it's a couple of things and I'm, I'm sold on it, especially the tops. If we can get those in an extra large, I would be very happy about that. On to the next box, y'all. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave them below. I will answer them um, as soon as I can. My stylist was Taylor. I'm going to leave all of the detailed stuff to the back end of the video so you can watch it and determine, you know, if this is something that is for you. If you do, please use my referral link. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, 
and um, just leave me your thoughts. I, I, all right, let's get into the logistics of how this Mitch and Match box works. First and foremost, it's a, a fashion subscription service. So it functions similar to the others, except that it has something a little bit special and more fundamental about what they offer. And it's the personal connection that the stylist is trying to build with you and the better understanding of you, you the person, your interests, your taste, your lifestyle. So it's not just um, the descriptive, and I mean it's detailed because they want measurements and, and, and they're sharp because I made a mistake on my inseam. And so when my assigned stylist, who I didn't know who I was getting until a day or so later, so let's see here, let's give you the dates. I placed the order and I completed the style profile on March the 23rd. I was emailed and contacted by my stylist introducing herself, telling me who she was, recapping a little bit of what she had already read. So she had already studied my profile, folks. Yes. Her name is Taylor, just in case you see things that she's pulled for me, which I don't know. This is a complete surprise. And I needed a, a complete surprise because I been sneak peeking and I, I'm glad I don't know. All right, y'all remember I said it. All right, uh, let me see here now. She introduced herself. I took some notes on this because I was impressed. Uh, she was inquiring about was I really right on those inseams. So I remeasured, I do have measuring tape. So I remeasured and I found that what I entered was incorrect. And so I was able to make the necessary adjustments and send that information back to her. Um, she also asked for me to provide her with any social media handlers that I had, and I did give her that information. Um, I don't typically mention to stylists um, that I have a, a channel. I don't know what the hell I'm, you know, why I'm so shy about that, but um, lately I've been a little bit more forthcoming, especially if they ask, then I would tell them. Um, because this is something that I do when I can and I just enjoy doing it and I don't think I'm entitled to anything extra extra special because I do this because I want to be able to give you my honest opinion and share with you my honest thoughts always. Alright, so let's get into this thing. Um, she encouraged communication. She stressed that you know proper communication is how these boxes and the clothing selections will improve over the course of time and dealing with um, the company and with the stylist. Another thing they went in to do a test billing on the 27th. So my car that I signed up with was charged $5 on the 25th, but they do go in to try to charge for, I want to say, $25 styling fee prior to shipping. And so um, I got all my credit card information adjusted, but they emailed, they were polite. Super people, super people. Some kind of way, um, I inquired. I sent an email to find out who did I sign up under because I couldn't remember who's link. I do f have my core, about eight ladies that I hardcore follow. And I think I'm going to put all their YouTube channels in the description box below because they will outspend me as far as um, the clothing lots and things that they get. So if you want someone that like two, three times a week is closed, you, I recommend them. I absolutely do. And Favor is also a good person for travel. Anyways, I'm trying to stay focused um, and give you the meat and the bones of this. I think I'm going to put some of this information at the back end of the video so that way we already uh, have done the clothing try on and stuff like that. Uh, what else I want to share with you? So um, I emailed about who did I sign up under and God only knows who link I clicked because it was a Kelly... Uh, It was someone I wasn't familiar with. And I said, well, all the ladies, I know them by first name, you know. Um, Jen, Jill, Miss Barbara, you know, Christy, Miss Kelly. I'm like, the only Kelly I know is Kelly, Miss Kelly with an S. And I said, well, I want her to have it because that's who I thought I was signing up on. I don't know who this Duncan person is. Or, and so they honored it. I said, could you please give the credit to her? And so that's exactly what they did. And, um... I just think that's awesome. Um, I got a shipping notification on the 23rd, 29th, and it was here yesterday. yesterday. So it came one day earlier than the anticipated. Um, 
date. 